Usually in such situation we tend to panic than to act. And the end result is doing more harm than good. What is cardiac arrest? Cardiac arrest is a condition in which heart stops pumping which can result to sudden loss of blood flow to vital organs such as brain, heart, lungs and kidneys. If not intervened on time, it can lead to death of the patient. As each minute passes by, the chance of survival of the patient is reduced by 10%. As you all know, the function of the heart is to pump blood to all parts of the body. Compromise to this function to even a small amount of time can result in irreversible damage to vital organ such as brain. By performing CPR, we are not only trying to bring back the patient to life, but also we are keeping the organs perfused till the heart starts beating on its own. To overcome this, the American Heart Association has developed a chain of survival. First step when you see someone unresponsive is to check for his responsiveness by tapping on his shoulders and shouting out loud. Now that our patient is unresponsive, let's proceed with the next step, which is calling for help and activating the emergency response system. If you are not alone, ask the second person to call for an ambulance. Our next step is to check whether the patient is in cardiac arrest or not. To do that, we scan for breathing. We do that by standing beside the patient and look for visible chest rise. We scan for breathing at least for 5 seconds. Now let's do and learn. Everyone please get ready beside your mannequin and let's practice. Now that our patient is in cardiac arrest, we have to act fast to improve his survival rates and that is achieved by early high quality CPR. CPR is forceful rhythmic application of pressure over lower half of chest bone thereby creating blood flow by directly compressing the heart. The rescuer should place the heel of palm along the chest bone and place the other hand over the first hand by interlocking with fingers. Make sure your shoulders are just above the chest of the patient. What is high quality CPR? It should be commenced within 10 seconds of identifying the cardiac arrest. The rate of compression should be 100 to 120 per minute and the depth of compression should be at least one third of chest diameter and we have to avoid interruptions in compressions. Now let's get beside the mannequin and practice high quality CPR. Now that we have learned how to identify cardiac arrest, activate the emergency response system and provide high quality CPR, the next important step is to provide early defibrillation. This is possible only if you have an AED in your location. An AED or an automated external defibrillator is available in almost all public places like airports, shopping malls, railway stations and bus stations. Steps for AED use Step 1. Power on the AED Step 2. Attach the paddles as demonstrated. One is below the right collarbone and the other is below the left nipple as demonstrated. Step 3 is follow AED prompts Analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. and Step 4. Shock the patient as prompted. Now let's do and learn. Now that we have learned the basics of adult BLS, let's look at the variants in children. In infants, we give CPR by giving two finger technique and thumb encircling technique. In children above 2 years of age, CPR is given by one hand technique or two hand according to the size of the child. Now that we have learned basic life support, let's put it all together. Be prepared to save a life and be a hero. First step when you see someone unresponsive is to check for his responsiveness by tapping on his shoulders and shouting out loud. If you are not alone, ask the second person to call for an ambulance. Our next step is to check whether the patient is in cardiac arrest or not. To do that, we scan for breathing and look for visible chest rise. Now that a patient is in cardiac arrest, we have to act fast to improve survival rates and that is achieved by early high quality CPR. Make sure your shoulders are just above the chest of the patient. Be prepared to save a life and be a hero.